it's almost here. We are so close to the official launch of Modern Warfare 2. In this video, we're gonna be talking about everything you know about Modern Warfare 2 for launch, when you can preload it, when you can start playing it on different platforms, and potentially ways you can go about playing it early, depending on what platform you're on. Then we've actually got a box art cover that gives us the install size, and there's some interesting stuff about COD HQ that I wanna talk about as well. As always, we're gonna be covering everything in this video in a rapid style format. That way you can quickly watch this video and get right back into game. If you're new here and wanna sub, I would greatly appreciate that. And if you left a like or a comment, it helps out a ton. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the preload times. If you bought the game on Xbox or PlayStation, you can already go ahead and preload the full game however if you're on pc you've got to wait till october 26 10 a.m pt and it doesn't matter whether you bought it on steam or battle.net preload starts for both of those at the same time now let's talk about the full launch which there's multiple different windows here if you're playing on consoles it's a rollout of a launch meaning there's not one set time where all the servers go live so depending on what local midnight is for you there's 4 a.m pt 9 a.m pt and that's regional rollout meaning as it hits different times in different regions that's when it's going to go live for you on pc it's one set time meaning it goes live for everyone on the same time which is usually a couple hours before midnight in my region but this chart right here on screen is going to tell you all the different times for pc that's the point of the chart however there are a few different ways you can get access to the game early one's the old-fashioned method which is getting your hands on a physical copy of the game before it launches which I've never done myself. I'm not even sure how you'd go about doing that. Uh, if you play on Xbox, you can actually just set your region to New Zealand and uh, it should let you play up to, I think, 10 hours before the actual launch of the game. And then if you're on PlayStation, it's a little bit harder. You've got to you've got to make a New Zealand PlayStation account and then you've got to have a New Zealand address linked to it. And then you've got to have a New Zealand credit card by the game, or I guess get New Zealand cards. Those will also work for that. So the easiest way to play early, if you play on Xbox, just set your region to New Zealand. You can play the game 10 hours before it launches. Uh, PlayStation is a little bit harder. You gotta go the whole way. It's really not worth it. If you're playing on PlayStation, you'd have to buy a whole nother copy of the game to play it early. So it really only matters for Xbox players. PC players, there's no way to play early. This is the time it launches on PC. There's no physical copies. This is a set in stone time. There is legitimately no way around that and yes people have already managed to get their hands on physical copies of the game i saw this image from charlie intel but they're crediting dban rd so their twitter is going to be linked down below if you do get a physical copy and currently put it in your xbox and playstation it works just like the campaign early access all the other stuff's disabled so there's really no difference to having an early copy right now and having the campaign early access but i have a feeling once the server goes live you'll be able to do pretty much all the stuff with these early access copies uh, then there's a few other things. If we look on the back of it, you can see there is 130 gigabytes minimum. That's about the install size of a COD. Yeah, that is a lot for a game, but uh, I assume that a lot of that's going to be with Warzone as well. If you got to download even more on top of that for Warzone, I mean, Warzone 1 right now is like 200 something gigabytes. So, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's big. I mean, we already knew that. Uh, then another thing that I've seen a lot of people talking about from the back of this cover right here. Uh, requires 70 plus gigabyte initial download to play call of duty hq uh and call of duty warzone 2.0 included so it's saying that call of duty hq and call of duty warzone 2.0 are included which we already knew about warzone 2.0 it's coming out you know about a month after the game launches but uh i see people talking about call of duty hq and they're referring to it almost like it's gonna be this uh world war ii hq menu but uh, I, that's, I don't think that's the case. Right now, if you play the game on PC, you don't play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, you play Call of Duty HQ. You launch Call of Duty HQ and the task manager, it says Call of Duty HQ. I think that's just the hub. I think that's just the hub for all the Call of Duty games. And I think by buying Modern Warfare 2, yeah, you're getting access to Call of Duty HQ, but Call of Duty HQ is just a launcher for all the other games. Instead of having the mess that we, if you go back to the older games, remember how if you launched Cold War, you'd see Cold War, you'd see Vanguard, then you'd see Warzone and you'd have them all three together. Uh, people started complaining because it was really weird just stitching all the games together. So I think with the COD 2.0 era, they're kind of designing this whole thing around the COD HQ and then you launch Warzone 2 from COD HQ. You launch, you know, Modern Warfare 2 campaign from COD HQ. And I, I don't know what's all gonna change once the actual servers go live. But uh, as of right now, if you're playing Modern Warfare 2 on PC, it's called Call of Duty HQ. So no, I doubt we're going to get any sort of World War II HQ style thing because they would have marketed that. Trust me, if that was something they were including in this game, 
it is something that they would have marketed with all the promotional stuff because that would have been a pretty big selling point. But uh, yeah, with that, boys, that's everything new going on with Modern Warfare 2. If you want to keep fully up to date, make sure to sub to this channel. We'll keep you guys up to date with these rapid style videos. That way you can quickly watch them and get right back into game. Let me know what platform you're playing the game on if you're going to try to play it early. Uh, if you care about the 130 gigabyte install size and what you feel about Call of Duty HQ. And uh, yeah, with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I want to give a quick thanks to those who became a Twitch sub or a YouTube member and an extra special thanks to those who took it above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member here on YouTube. We got the Legend Army Tech Rex, the Absolute Chad Noah, the Homie Flicks, the Goat RPH, and then finally the man himself, No Spice.